The Philippines is located in Southeast Asia in the Pacific Ocean. It is one of the world's largest archipelago nations, as the Philippines are made up of more than 7,000 islands that stretch for 1,850 kilometers. These islands are classified into three main areas, Luzon in the north, Visayas in the center, and Mindanao in the south. Did you know that the Philippines is the largest producer of coconuts in the world? And in 2009, they produced 19.5 million tons of coconuts. The Western Island, Palawan, has been geologically stable and was once connected to Borneo by a narrow land bridge during the exposure of the Sunda Shelf. The remaining oceanic islands rose from the ocean floor due to subduction of the Philippine plate at the western boundary and volcanic activity in the Ring of Fire. There are many microplates under the Philippines that are being pushed together by two converging plates, the Philippine Sea Plate and the Sunda Eurasian Plate. These microplates have formed as parts of the crust separate off the major plates, and this formation creates the Philippine Mobile Belt. The Palawan Microcontinental Block is a fragment of the Asian mainland that broke off during the Mesozoic period. In the early Miocene period, this fragment and the Philippine Mobile Belt collided the impact of this collision rotated the tectonic microplates in the opposite direction, which resulted in the creation of trenches and a fault zone. On the 15th of October 2013, the island Bohol was shaken by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. It originated from an unmapped reverse fault. It had devastating effects resulting in 222 fatalities and 976 wounded. 373,000 citizens were left homeless due to their houses being destroyed. Along with the 730,000 houses damaged, 14,500 were key cultural landmarks such as historic churches. The total economic damage, mostly due to damage of infrastructure, was estimated at US dollars 52.06 million. The earthquake and ongoing aftershocks gave rise to landslides, sinkholes, damming rivers and coastal uplift. Landslides occurred in 25 villages in Bohol and 13 in Cebu. Communities were forced to rebuild on top and around the damage and are therefore still vulnerable to collapse. Mount Pinatabo was located on the main island of Luzon. It is a stratovolcano and is part of the chain of composite volcanoes known as the Luzon Arc, which runs along the island's west coast. The Mount Pinatabu eruption of 1991 is considered to be one of the most powerful eruptions of the 20th century. On June 15th, Mount Pinatabu erupted and lasted a total of nine hours. The eruption brought about numerous high magnitude earthquake tremors, majority as a result of the collapse of the volcano summit. During the eruption, a Polynian column of ash reached a height of 34 kilometers and covered the island of Luzon. Typhoon Nunya happened to be occurring at the same time as the eruption, and the increased heavy rainfall combined with this ash created a tephra fall of wet ashy mud that covered thousands of hectares of land surrounding Mount Pinatabu. This caused thousands of house roofs to collapse and killed approximately 300 people and further displacing over 50,000 people. It is estimated that the economic loss reached more than 1 billion US dollars, with more than 140,000 houses being destroyed or damaged, thousands of public infrastructure, and over 10,000 hectares of farmland. The eruption released between 15 and 30 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere and stratosphere, which in combination with the high level of water vapor in the air, created a localized greenhouse effect warming of the Mount Pinatabu area during the two to three years following the eruption. This sulfur dioxide over time reacted with the water vapour to form sulfurous acids in the stratosphere and spread across the entire globe. This increased the Earth's albedo, causing a global cooling. Global temperatures decreased by 0.4 to 0.5 degrees Celsius as a result of the Mount Pinatabu eruption. In conclusion, there are many interesting geological features and histories, so come and explore the Philippines. Thanks for watching!